Hello Year 5 and welcome to English. Today is Tuesday and um, you need a pen and paper if you're not using Teams and if you are then you will be just using the assignment on Teams. So let me share my screen. Okay, let's make this a little bit easier to see. So today we are use, looking at using semicolons in a list. Our steps of success are I can understand why we use semicolons and I can use them in a list. And um, your starter, please can you punctuate my sentences correctly? Punctuate them correctly. The first sentence says, the rainbow has violet, navy and yellow stripes, which flow in an arch across the sky. And the second, second sentence says, hey, give that back, yelled the old wrinkled man. Okay, yes, so we needed a capital T for the, we need a comma between violet and navy, we need a comma after um, yellow stripes because this is our relative, um, our relative clause, which, but we don't have two commas, just have one, and a full stop. And then quotation or direct speech marks, inverted commas, because this is someone speaking. Hey, capital letter, comma, if you, you don't have to put on there, but it kind of makes sense. Give that back, exclamation mark, inverted commas, yelled the old comma wrinkled man, full stop. Okay, I'm gonna read the model text to you now, and then we will have a look at what we are doing today. Okay. Visit us now at the Magic Bean Store. Attractions for all the family. Be enchanted by our magical emporium. From the outside, you will see a humble abode, but step inside and you will discover a unique, wonderful world. What we can offer you. The indoor area extends for many miles, including the wizard's restaurant, shops selling a variety of spells, toy corners for special gifts, humongous sandpits for agitated giant folk, water arena for sprites, pet corner, which provides a viewing platform to observe bats and rats, and our world famous Dragon Yard. Main attraction, visit the intricate intertwining maze located in the rear of the store. You will get lost for hours within its delicate jade hedgerows. For only three magical beans per ticket, this attraction provides endless entertainment for the whole family. Don't delay, free tickets for first time visitors, exclusive access available, prizes for adolescents, open moon's day to Saturn's day, dawn to starlight. Don't miss out on this spectacular shopping experience. Okay, so my main first question for you today is what is a semicolon? So have a think, what is a semicolon? Well, a semicolon looks like this and it's a piece of punctuation that we have used before in our some other sentences to describe two points of view. Today, we're going to be looking at it from a list perspective. So when would you use semicolons in a list? Writing a list sounds simple, but there are several punctuation marks you need. Colons can introduce a list, while commas are used to separate items in a list. For example, you will need to bring the following, sleeping bag, pillow, pajamas, water bottle, waterproof jacket, sweatshirt, walking boots, and swimming kit. But what if the list included explanations or extra detail about the items? So these are just the names of the items, aren't they? We've got a list of nouns here. There's no extra information. Well, if you've got commas, you, the things can get complicated and that's why we need semicolons. So let's have a look at this one. You will need to bring the following, sleeping bag, pillow, and pajamas for the overnight stay, semicolon, because I've got extra information here. Water bottle, waterproof jacket, sweatshirt, and walking boots for the afternoon trek, semicolon, and a swimming kit for the river activities. Here, a colon introduces the list and semicolons indicate which parts of the list are grouped together when you have group sentences. Here's another example. Last year, we travelled to Dorchester, Dorset, semicolon, Edinburgh, Scotland and Wiltby, North Yorkshire. In this example, commas are used to separate the town names from a more general location. So, Dor so Dorchester and Dorset are in the same place. Edinburgh is in Scotland and Whitby is in North Yorkshire. So it's the same thing grouped together. Let's have a look at our model text example. 
The indoor area extends for many miles, including colon, the wizard restaurant, semicolon, shops for selling a variety of spells, semicolon, because there's lots of information in there, toy corners, humongous sandpit, and here, pet corner, comma, which provides a viewing platform to observe bats and rats, because that is our relative clause. So if there's a comma there and a comma here, we'd get confused. We'd think, water arena for sprites, pet corner, and then another floor is which provides a viewing platform, and that's not what we're trying to say. So let's have a look at how we can break these down to make them easier. The park hosts a range of activities. So this is our first section of the sentence, and we're using a, co a, co um, a colon. Starting clause to introduce the noun, what you'll be listing about. So the park, that's our noun, hosts a range of activities, and that introduces what we're going to be talking about, and a colon to start the list. Then we create our list. So zip wire for adolescents, semicolon, smaller size slides for younger children, semicolon, coffee at the cafe, semicolon, seesaw fun. Small description of the activity. So coffee at the cafe, smaller slides for younger children. Because remember, a list with commas is when we have lots of nouns, whereas here we're explaining a little bit more about it. Then finally, we need to add an and because it's the end of our list. Bird watching on the lake for the whole family. And it's usually a longer sentence. All together that reads, the park hosts a range of activities, zip wires for adolescents, smaller slides for younger children, coffee at the cafe, seesaw fun, and bird watching on the lake for the whole family. So that reads together really well and gives us our pauses, it gives us our groups of things to do, and it has all the correct punctuation. What I would like you to do is come up with your own semicolon lists about these nouns, so the park, the seaside, the shopping centre and a school. So on, if you have teams, there is a sheet there and it has um, these nouns on it. And I want you to write me a list that looks like this. So you need to have your starting sentence. So you could have um, the seaside hosts or has a range of fun things to do. Um, you could have the slot machines on the pier, um, getting an ice cream from the ice cream van. So you can list all the things you would do at the seaside. If you would like to go back through this PowerPoint, you can have a look at how to break it down into different sections if you need more help. But I would just like you to make a list for these four. So you should have four paragraphs by the end. Perfect. So if you are on Teams, then you can go over there now to edit my um, assignments. If you were not on Teams, then please just write these down and send a picture to the Year 5 email. See you all very soon.